this premiere on his channel. I'm Theophilus Sampa, bringing you the page today. And today we're talking about how to use the game of football, soccer, to impact their lives. We're talking about grassroots development of football in this country and the positive impact that is served in the lives of quote unquote the less privileged in society. Today there is a story um, we will share. I know you are familiar with the story when it comes to football giving footballers giving back to society what sportsmen are doing but this one is a bit unique and uh, at the end of the day I would love you to also send in your comments and your suggestions even after the program to see how we can also um, help and how we can push them to really uh, achieve their aims a gentleman a Ghanaian of course is doing something good behind the scenes and today uh, we've we'll been grateful to get one of his reps here and uh, to really tell us more about this project they are having and what they are doing again if you just tune in this is the page on gbc24 we're talking grassroots development of football in ghana and then we zero in on the impact some individuals are having in the lives of young men and women when it comes to giving back to society using the proceeds they get from the game of soccer let me quickly introduce. I have a guest with me. I have David Dudo. Yes, he's the Dudo. director. Dudo. Yes, David Dudo. Yeah, Dudo. Yes, sir. good. Um, is a director and also operations officer for Fifi. Exactly. Soccer Foundation. Exactly, sir. Thanks very much for passing. Through. Um, nice having me. You look fresh. Thank but you so much. Before I let you see a word, um, I'll let my viewers have the benefit of the doubt to really understand what we really want to talk about, and so okay. sit comfortably. Let's watch this. When we come back. Um, David will, will tell us more and why this project must be supported by all. Hi, I'm Fifi Bedin, a senior midfielder for UCSB Men's Soccer. This summer, um, I went back home to Ghana. It's been like five years since I went back home and I really wanted to do something back home, like to give back to my country and to, to help the kids that are underprivileged as, as I was growing up as well. So I went back home to work um, at this orphanage called Orphan Aid Africa, and I was there for three and a half weeks. And mainly what I did was I coached the, the kids and also um, I taught them about you know, life lessons, about what it means um, to work hard, what it means to be disciplined, and what it means to value education as you're growing up. And it was a great experience. Um, growing up, it was tough. Um, I, I was in the same position as the kids back home. Um, I couldn't get the same education that I needed. I couldn't get the same um, opportunities that I have now. So I felt like it, it's a responsibility of mine to, to, to try and um, and ch change that situation for, for the kids back home. I, I bought some kits from um, UCSB store, really cool um, soccer gear, and the kids were really, really um, happy um, to receive them. So I organized like a soccer tournament and also a basketball tournament for the girls. And it, it, was, it was really fun and they really enjoyed it. And I gave out the, the gear, you know, for best players and those who showed more like um, team players instead of themselves and those who were wor and working hard and everything. And I also um, congratulated them for their efforts. It's one of my passions to give back, not just to my country, but any community or any country that is, you know, of underprivileged children. It's important to, to have that realization that it's not everyone that's in the same situation as, um, as we are or as someone else's. And it doesn't matter whether you are rich or where, where you come from, you can always make a difference in some other people's life. And one of the greatest things that I learned through my experience back home is, is putting a smile on someone's face. I've been planning this in my head to go, to go back to my country to, and to do something different. UCLB granted me the opportunity and helped me to to learn what it means to give back. Lastly, well, I just want to say that this video is just, you know, a first step or just a preview of what it means for everyone to, 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 to be humans on this earth. Wherever you are or whoever you are, you can always do something different. You can also 
always make a difference, inspire others and put a smile on other people's faces. And I think that's the greatest gift that um, a person can ever have. So thanks very much for staying with us. Um, that has been Fifi Baden. This is a gentleman who is championing um, this particular project, wanting to give back to society. But there is a story about this gentleman that really struck me, and I decided to just get closer to him when we had the opportunity. It's where he started from, where he has reached, and what he really wants to do immediately. Dave, once Hello. again, good to have you here. Um, now, thank you so much. Someone who doesn't know Fifi Baden. Briefly, tell me, who is Fifi Baden? Well, Fifi Baden is a person that um, came to do uh, volunteering in Orphanage Africa when I was in an office, managing Orphanage Africa Sports Department. And uh, he came to do his service. And so I we share ideas together to give back to our community. And then he said, oh, he will go back and then go and think about it. So we start communicating, and then we got to this far. I asked you because um, if I should tell who Fifi Baden is, where he is right now, someone said, okay, Fio knows him, that's why. So someone who doesn't know Fifi Baden, where is he located now? Where was he before going to where he is and coming back to come and help you guys? Well, Fifi Baden was based in uh, Winneba, and then um, he was he based in Winneba, where um, that is where he grew up. And then he had the opportunity to play in Right to Dream. And then now he had a scholarship to go to U.S. and then pursue more in sports. Now, he set up a foundation, and the first port of call was to come to uh, the orphanage that he worked with. What sort of um, foundation is this one? Because we've seen a lot of foundations. Some are there will tell you that, okay, we'll give back to society. They bring one or two things, then they are done. What exactly are you guys up to the foundation? What exactly is it only to teach somebody how to kick football? No. Or just to bring in some of the, your clothing or your gadgets you used to play football and give it to them, that's all. What is Ali, is this foundation all about? Uh, well, our mission is to give, uh, is to support orphanage, is to support the orphans and then the poor children in Ghana here. And then we'll give them education and sports. And then the, one, of, one of our main focus is that because we believe that when we give the children, we give them the sports and education, it helps them. Because it's not all of us that will, it's not all of us that will have the, have the opportunity to, to play a professional football in the future. But we believe that when we give education, and it is a key because education does everything. That is the reason why we set up this foundation, and then um, and then uh, supporting them, supporting this kid, we have a passion for it. It's a passion that we set up. So Fifi Baden. He's doing great. He's doing well to support these poor children in Ghana, and then to be and then to become responsible, to become a responsible uh, leaders in the future. He was in Cape Coast, and um, my small tease, my small search tells me that he didn't start like somebody who had the opportunity of starting school and then your your parents pay for you to be taught how to play football. Mm -hmm. You had an academy to do it. Mm -hmm. But he was on the street selling. Exactly. He was, he was selling a kerosene. He was selling kerosene. I knew. I was told that he was selling kerosene. Yes. Then, going house to house, being on the street sell, selling that particular project. And at the end of the day, grace fell on him. Exactly. And so, looking at where he is coming from, and you saying, okay, we will give uh, education to the children that you meet at the various orphanages. Orphanage. Is it only for the orphans? Because he is not an orphan. Why uh, did he choose the orphan home? Because we, b we believe that, you know, they lack a lot, of, uh, a lot of things, a lot of support. So if we bring them and then we put smile into their faces, that is when the blessings come. Mm. That is the reason why we focus on the orphans. Mm. Because they don't have any parents. They don't have a parent. They are just living around the street. So if we drag them into Fifi Soccer Foundation and then we give them the best of education and the best of soccer, I think we are satisfied with that. We'll, we will, viewers, we'll, we'll soon get an opportunity to have a feel of um, Fifi playing. Um, he is in the U.S. now, uh, based there, and is trying to just give back to society.
The reason I just don't want to talk about this gentleman a lot is it's just simple. He started from nowhere. He never had, he had a dream, but never knew how he, it was going to turn out for him. And he is one person that believes in, in, in the grace of the Almighty God. So growing up, a lot of things were going through his mind. He decided that if I sit down and I don't do anything, um, I'll be hurting myself. So he decided to just gather some coins, decide to do small business that is selling kerosene. And just imagine the Winneback community. And then he will be moving from door to door, house to house. And just every morning, we'll pass through. In the afternoon, we'll pass through. And then in the evenings, you know, the, the evening uh, businesses, he will just go and then be supplying kerosene from the Fanta bottle to the, the, the bottle waters. They, they put the kerosene in. So that was what Fifi was doing. And then he had that flair, the passion to play football. And lo and behold, he was spotted and then... He joined the Right to Dream Academy. Academy. Lo and behold, another grace fell on him. Yeah, and the then, scholarship. then he got the scholarship. Now he's in the US and then playing football. We have a fellow of him playing the football. But whilst we, we are watching him, I, I will come back to uh, you, Dave. Dave, and so since he set up the foundation so far, what has he done and how many orphanages has he extended a helping hand to? Uh, well, uh, uh, we help a lot of, um, we are now helping a lot of kids. For now, we are giving them um, soccer. We, we, team, we have about 50 kids that we are giving them soccer for now. And then uh, the next level, the next level, we, we now, for now, we're based in Ainya. But we have a land, we have a land in Lyon, about 50 minutes drive from Ainya to Lyon. And then the, they gave us a place to set up the facility. So that is the development that we have for now. Okay, and so we'll so soon see, we'll soon see um, Fifi playing, and uh, he's just amazing, scoring goals, giving incisive passes, defense splitting passes. He's just a team player um, in his base in the USA, and so um, that's what he's doing. So at Ainya, that's I, where at Ainya, yes, that's where you are currently located. Exactly, but uh, but the most importantly, it's not only the kids, it's only the children that we are we are giving the hands to. We are supporting the communities, so we want the community to be part of what we are doing. Because we have two, uh, we have about three categories things programs that we are we want to set up. So for them. that's the gentleman we're talking about. In the uh, we're talking about Fifi Bading. He's the one uh, with the ball, uh, a Ghanaian who is currently in the U.S. playing football, had a scholarship and just doing it. He started by selling selling kerosene. That's all what he was doing. Uh, in the Aluka Palace, we call it crazy. He was selling <laughs> cruising in Winneba. And yes, uh, his flair. And then he had opportunity. Currently, his flair is straight there. The last time he came to Ghana, he did some donations. Went out there to help. And he's still helping. And yeah, no, he's, yeah doing, he's still helping. He will continue to do it till yeah, yeah. that kingdom come. Because exactly. looking at where he's coming from it's and so where easy. he has reached, it's so easy. he calls it a blazer. This is how far the Lord has brought him. Brought him yeah. And so you, you were talking, you were saying you are not only based uh, or focusing on the children no, that are, no, no. are the orphanage. No, 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 no. So who and who are going to benefit from this foundation uh, or the, are benefiting? Yeah, the community, com the communities are going to benefit as well because we set up a, we set up a programs. That is um, food program and then health initiative program and then adult school. Just because we believe that when we give the we give the cho we give the um, the adults as well, they will help us grow our our foundation. Mm -hmm. Because we can't just give give the children without giving the their parent. So that is one of the main focus that we are doing. So you, when when you talk about education, giving them education, what is that, are you going to are you paying their fees? What exactly are you doing in, uh, when when you talk about okay we want education. the foundation really wants to give them education? Yes, yes. What exactly is it? Yeah, so education that we are going to do, we are going to pay their school fees. We are going to provide food, we are going to provide school uniform, and we are going to provide all the necessary equipment that they need to support. And we are going to provide them with books as well. So that is one of the basic things that we are providing for now. You know, the, the, the vision is big. Yes, it's very big. It, it, it's starting with um, the, the orphan, orphan home. home. There are homes that you get like 200 children. There are homes that you get like 50, 10, 20. And so, and soccer is meant for both boys and girls. Yes. Is the focus only on boys, or we are going to see girls? And if girls, how many 
have you targeted so far to start with before the expansion project comes on? Okay. For now, we don't have girls, but for now, we have about 50 boys that we are, we are supporting. We are supporting them through their school. So after school, then they come back to the field. And we, we, I have a staff, I have um, sports staff, that, sports coaches that are, you know, doing the class work. So after school, then the children go back to the, um, to the sports ground. Mm. And then they have fun with the ball. And then we used to do, um, we used to go on, on tournament. We used to go on, on tournament. We need to go, we need to go on official matches at Right to Dream, where he generated from. Because we believe that when we pass through those things, the children will be great and they will feel that they are home. Mm. So that is the basic thing we are doing for now until we are done with everything that we want to set up. Ghana, Ghana, Ghana is watching you. You are the operations manager or director mm. for Fifi Soccer Foundation. If someone should come on board and say, okay, I watched you on GBC 24, we want to help. Where exactly can they quickly get access, access to you? To and not come to me directly and say, okay, you brought him, so how do you get it? Oh, Where okay. exactly can we locate you? Where exactly, in terms of the social media and okay. the addresses, everywhere, how oh, can okay. we get it? Uh, well, they, they, can, uh, they can call my line. Okay. They which, can, line? They, which line is that one? They can call my line. That is 0211, uh, 0241143707, if you want to support us. Okay, yeah, mention it again. 02411. 43707. Okay. That is it. So you sure you sure this this line works? If I should take my phone right now and call you, this line will work. Exactly, sir. Okay. Exactly. So aside aside the calling and I am not a fan of calling. Okay. So um where again can I get you? Oh they can email me. Okay, give Dudo me a David. David Dudo at gmail.com. Okay, the David is D A D I D. Exactly. And then the Dudo one word. Oh uh, Dudo. So D U U D O R at gmail.com. Okay, so one word. Yes. David Dudo, then when we send in the information, exactly. you can link up. Exactly. Okay, and so currently, currently, where are you stationed? Uh, now we're based, in, uh, we're based in Ayanya now. Okay. Yes, we're based in Ayanya. Mm. And we're based in Ayanya now. So, um, because we are not yet built the facility. Okay. We are now planning to come in and build up the facility. Okay. So, so at the end of the day, um, what, what will make Fifi, um, who is in the States now, happy? Um, you started a project, you are here in Ghana helping mm. for the foundation to stand. Well, what are some of the things that he talks to you about that he really wants to see from this foundation? Well, he always, you know, encouraged me to work hard. Um, any instruction that he gave me, I should work towards it. And then I shouldn't give up. I should still keep the spirit up and then be doing the great work so that I'm doing. from the project, what exactly um, is Fifi looking out to? That he will produce players for the Black Stars? Or what, what exactly is the <laughs> main, what exactly is it? Because he's playing football. Yes. Um, and he's using the proceeds from football to help. So yeah. for Fifi's angle, what exactly is he looking out for? Uh, well, we, we, not to, not to say Ghana Blaster per se, but we are going to train them. If we have the call, if they come and do the scouting at our end, and then one, one being picked, will be great. Will be great because we, 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 we are just training and we are going to give them a scholarship. We are going to give the children scholarship, those who are best in soccer, we give them a scholarship to go back to, um, to go to another country and go and play there. Mm. Yes, yeah, so that is our main focus. So okay. if, if that being so, we will be grateful. When, 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 when will, are we going to see Fifi back in town? And uh, how soon will we see him getting back to the children? And um, I think probably maybe next year. Next, next year, year he'll, be, uh, he'll be around. Mm -hmm. He'll be around. And then um, just to remind you, we have a, a gala coming up. Okay. Um, a gala f uh, for youth 13. Okay. Uh, just that we want to bring them together. Okay. And then we will we, we, we will give them education on. So them. when is this gala taking place? Yeah. It's and I guess it will be in Nigeria. Yeah, it will. <laughs> it definitely be in Nigeria. Okay. Yes, because that is where we base now. Okay. So, uh, so gala, the gala will come on um, first December, and then we are going to have a marathon. We are going to have a marathon on second December. Um, we are going to give free T-shirt uh, as I'm wearing free T-shirt. We are going to give, and we are going to do um, education on HIV, HIV creating awareness. We are going to create awareness on HIV and then malaria, um, a, uh, malaria prevention as so well. So you do a marathon, then after that you you play the the gala, yeah, or we, you play the gala, then after that you do marathon. Yes, we are doing the gala on first December. That first is holiday. December. 
Okay. Yes, for the for the so youth. the time the time will be the time will be eight o'clock in the morning. In the morning, then we okay. start. So you start with the gala competition. Yeah, how gala. many teams are you expecting to? Uh, we how many players are you expecting to come uh, out there to come and have fun? Oh well, we have about six teams that are coming. Okay. So in total, we we will have about one twenty um, players that, that are will coming. Come. Yes. And then so after uh, the first on the second on the second that we are doing marathon. Then through the marathon that you do the education, education. on malaria and oh. then HIV AIDS, uh, or after that you also have a program to do the the HIV. After, AIDS. after we end the uh, the tournament, then we have a resource people that are coming in, and then we, they are going to talk to they are going to talk to the crowd about uh, HIV and malaria because we believe that you know most Ghanaians we believe that it's only money that we need to send to the hospital before they can be checked on HIV or on malaria. And then it's very, it's very easy. FIFI have been able to provide this support to us so that we can also what, have our self work done. That is all. So I urge all those people in Dodoa to come in and support. If you want to be part of this marathon, you can call me, 24 Just call me and then we, you'll be registered. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, David, for passing yeah. through. Wish Thank you guys you. all the best. Right. And I hope that you won't, you won't kill the spirit. But by the time Fifi comes back, um, more kids will get involved. And then their energies will be channeled exactly. into productive ventures. Exactly. That has been the page, News Post on GBC24. Thanks for doing the watching. One day we'll get um, Fifi here to really come and tell us what he really did with the kerosene and the proceeds and what really transpired. Thanks very much. Keep watching GBC24. Bye for now.